All right, welcome everyone. Today we are going to be reviewing a game called Sunday Rivals. So, this game is made in the Unity engine. Guy calls this company 26K. And here we're just going to let the game load up real quick, Sunday Rivals. Keep in mind, there is no NFL license in this game and no NFL players. The UI, as you can see here in that little quick shot that comes up, does need, I think, a little bit of work, but it's simple and it's easy. So, nothing really to complain too much about there besides the simplicity of it, besides how simple it is. In this part, since I did start in the season, I was trying to figure out how to get to week two since I won my week one game. So it took me a little bit to figure that part out, but I did manage to get it after a little bit here. When you go to the post, you go to advance, and it allows you to advance to week two. So I finally figured that out and decided let's go get into week two to show everybody exactly what this game looks like. The art style is a choice that maybe a lot of people won't like, a lot of people will. I happen to like the art style the guy uses in here. Like I said, no names of any green, of any team. I'm using the Green Bay Cheese. And you see, it's got that blocky art style, which looks really good in my mind. <clears throat> Now, at the time of recording this, this game is it was in early access. I just checked before recording this. It's still in early access, and he just released a new patch for the game. So, let's go over a few things with the game here. One, I love the art style. I think the art style is really good. Hit animations, good, that kind of stuff. You get little animations here when the guys get the sacks. The playbook is really tiny. He doesn't have a huge playbook in here, but it doesn't seem to be needed. The other thing with this game is, you know, there are no fumbles. I mean, you see some of these hits that got on here. If that'd be mad, that dude would have dropped the ball. But there are no fumbles at all. So that's a good thing. Kind of makes it fun. There's even no pass interference. So that does make the game fun that way. There's no real calls there. There is offsides. But not a whole lot else. Now when you're looking at this, you can see I just called a timeout for some odd reason. I'm still trying to figure out the controls. I don't have the controls memorized yet. But you see, he's got some stuff on the sidelines. Not a whole lot. But like I said, he did just release a brand new patch to the game. And I'll have a link in the description to his YouTube channel so you can check it out. His latest patch has put weather in the game. Uh, there's apparently um, the sideline line marker guys out there, the play guys, they're out there. He said it's more dynamic lighting. And from what I've seen, it looks really good. I really got to get in and play it this weekend. As you can see, even in my offensive playbook there, there's not a lot of plays. That is one thing, there's not a lot of plays. And there's no hot routes that I've been able to find. That could be something he could be adding in later. And then he might not. He does have a roadmap of things that he's planning on adding, but Keep in mind, he's one guy working on this. So like I said, depending on what you guys think about the football game, if you're like me and you're really sick of the Madden series, this is one to check out. It's on Steam. It's pretty good. There are some cheese plays in here, which you're about to see me use one, if, it, if I remember if it works or not, because I did play this a couple days ago. And I went to the wrong guy. So that did not work. But there are some plays in here that can cheese a little bit, just like you see in Madden. And one thing that he's trying to do with his um, computer controlled stuff, the AI, or IA, artificial intelligence, is he's trying to make it actually work by their ratings. So if you got a guy that's really good in man coverage, that cheese play really doesn't work that I tried to use. And he will, I do swear it looks like it doubles up if you get if he gets burnt too many times, he will put a double on there, which is a good thing, because that's something that should happen. But physically wise, I'll let you guys watch a little bit of gameplay here. I do say this is a good buy to go and buy. I think they just scored here on me too, if I remember right. 
No, stop them. Stop them at the one. Stop them at the one. But I'll let you watch the gameplay just a little bit here. He see what you guys think. He found the. He found. Alright, so as you can see, Chicago just scored on me there. Um, let you in on a secret, I lost this game. Chicago played really good in this one. But this is just a little example of what this game looks like. Don't take my gameplay into account too much because I was really playing terrible. But I do recommend go check out Sunday Rivals on Steam. It is definitely well worth the price. It's really fun. And truthfully, I'm enjoying this a heck of a lot more than Madden football. So, until the next video, you guys click that subscribe button, click the like button if you like what I'm doing here. Let me know how this review went. If I did a halfway decent job. Or if there's something that you think you know I need to do better. See you in the next video.